ラッキーサイチーズティーハウスおはようみなさん、It's Gray from Akazashi's Tea House Home in Japan. How are you doing? Are you good? Are you Genki? I'm great, thanks. A bit hot and sticky and sweaty. It's very humid here, but you know what? It's all good because we have issue 9 of Gunsinger Spawn. It came out on Wednesday. I'm a little bit late with my review. Things have been a bit crazy here, but hey, what are you going to do? Reading this comic book makes everything all right. I tell you, it's another cracker. I can't stop singing the praises of Brett Booth on the art. He is doing the best work of his life. You should see some of the images in here. Like Gunslinger Spawn, you see Spawn in here. And Jessica Priest, she Spawn. The way Brett Booth draws her, man, whew, it gets my heart going just saying. Let me show you some of the interior art from this. Where are we? I've got a double page spread picked out. This is an amazing double page spread. Look at that. Look at the detail there. How long do you think it takes Brett Booth to do a double page like this? No idea, but it's worth it. I'd love a print of this on my wall, I tell you. Or imagine a t shirt. Yeah, just saying. But I'm getting sidetracked. This is another great issue. What I really like about this issue is there's a five page flashback kind of origin story. Well, it shows part of this version of Gunslinger Spawn's origin. It's really good, and it left me wanting to know more about that. Um, also, we see, as I say, this gunslinger, this spawn, is, is, back, is back in this issue, looking good, getting angry. There's a big fight scene between gunslinger and spawn, it's cool. Jess, Jessica's trying to calm them down, she's trying to keep them, you know, come on, we've got to be fighting together. But I tell you, it's a great issue. There's not much more to say. It's a huge recommend. I was checking the sales charts for comics from last month, from May, and even though they're not very reliable, gunslinger spawn was something like, I think it was number two. Number two in the list. Fantastic. It's doing really well. It's, I think it's a top selling spawn title, closely followed by King Spawn and Scorch, and of course the main spawn title. So, congratulations to the spawn team. It's doing great, and people love it. People are enjoying it. It's fun. It's got great art. It's a great price at only $2.99 still. So, yeah, what more can I say? I tell you. If you can go out and get a physical copy, please do so. Do so on my behalf because where I am in a small town in Japan, I've got to get digital. That's it. It can't be helped. Okay, anyway, enough complaining. Let's get on with the story summary. Please keep watching. Here we go. We open with a flashback. It's 1849, somewhere in the New Mexico territories. Xavi and his family are traveling to California's northern reaches, hoping to make the fortune. Xavi's wife Lucy believes the Lord will guide them. They stop off in a small Mexican border town to pick up supplies. When suddenly, a man comes running in, disturbs Javi's peace. He's got blood on his shirt and is screaming about a six shooter, have you got one? The door snaps open and in steps this dark figure with a red eye. You had to run, didn't you? You wouldn't listen. And he stabs the man, he slits his throat right in front of Xavi. Th that man was unarmed. So are you. Xavi runs out of the door. Amy! Get back inside, it's not safe! Shoom! He gets a knife in the back, falls dead on the ground. Pa, wake up! Please! Blam! Present day in some cheap hotel, and Xavi wakes up screaming Amy's name. You okay? He said her name again. Xavi tells Jessica to get packed. We're leaving. It's two in the morning. Jessica asks where they're heading, and Xavi doesn't tell her. You talk a lot, don't you? They set off on the bikes. Stopping somewhere in the woods, Xavi digs up a huge cache of weapons. Are you planning on taking out an army? asks Jessica. She tells Xavi that they're going to have to travel through the shadows if they want to reach Al Simmons' spawn. Do you know how to do that? He tells Jessica to close her eyes. Two seconds pass, and he's standing behind her in his full gunslinger spawn persona. So, how do you change yourself? asks Xavi. I'll show you, says Jessica. She then tells him to close his eyes. Less than two seconds pass, and Jessica shifts into the she spawn persona. And in two seconds, she's got a knife at Xavi's throat, and she puts him on the ground. I could have killed you just then. We're at war. Don't you get it? Just before they leave, Jessica tells Xavi to stay on Spawn's good side. Why not give him a compliment? Tell him how powerful he is. Xavi replies, Sorry, that ain't my style. And they disappear. Switch scenes to New York City, and we see a man leaving his office. He steps into the elevator. Everything goes dark, and then he hears a voice. No one's coming to rescue you, Phil. 
Then we see a glorious double page spread by artist Brett Booth. Look at that, look at Spawn there. It looks an amazing scene. Got green energy flowing from his hands, his eyes are glowing green. Basically Spawn's after this guy's boss. First of all, he targeted his underlings, but no one's telling him anything. When suddenly, hate to crash the party, but you shouldn't be here. She Spawn and Gunsinger Spawn suddenly appear. I knew you couldn't be trusted. Jessica asks Spawn if he knows how to get Gunslinger Spawn back home. You open the time hole, not me. Then, before you know it, Spawn and Gunslinger Spawn are at each other's throats. A fight breaks out, and then we see a transformation from Spawn. Look at him, look at Al Simmons here. He looks like a hell's angel. It's a great scene again, a great drawing by Brett Booth. Jessica manages to get them to stop. She reminds them, this isn't how we'll win. They want us at each other's throats. And that's where I'll end my story summary. I tell you what, I say it every time, but Brett Booth's art, it just gets better and better, doesn't it? Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. Here's the variant cover by the artist Brett Booth. Great image, you've got Gunslinger Spawn fighting Al Simmons Spawn there. And here's a preview of the next issue, which is out in July. Very interesting, very dynamic and kind of pop arty style design for that one. Okay. I hope you enjoyed my review. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the series. I'd love to hear from you. And as always, thank you so much for watching. This is Grey from Wakizashi's Tea House signing off. Matane. Wakizashi's Tea House. Please subscribe. <laughs>